Well, it ain't Easter without, uh, well, quarantine Easter, that is, without uh, ominous chantings and stuff in the background. Oh, by the way, how's this uh, cinematic setup? This took maybe an hour of experimenting, and then there's like a softbox 45 degrees above, and then there's like a desk, portable desk lamp over, over here, being like a sort of rim light. And it's also filmed at nighttime too, so there's no like uh, clouds coming in and out that I have to worry about and it's like not everyone everything's lit up because I've got two windows over there yeah as I said ominous chanting religion yeah tell me about this uh, setup uh, with that out of the way um, yeah onwards to the video greetings this is uh, before we start can we Oh my god, you, yep, you can change white balance whilst it's recording. New discovery with the black magic. You can still change settings when it's, uh, yeah, when it's recording. What is that sound? So something you would have noticed uh, around, particularly around this area of my face as of uh, late, is that um, it is more clean than usual, it's not acne filled. The reason as to why I'm so pimply around this area of my face in my 20s is, uh, well, simply because, um, genetics. Yes, runs in the family, yeah, but pfft. all my ancestors supposedly, uh, they didn't stop having pimples until they reached their 30s, so, uh, so these are gonna stay. And as for why recently I don't have these, it's because I'm on medication right now. Prescribed medication that lasts for like three or four months. And then I assume after the medication runs out, these are gonna come back. And it's not just my face though, it's all over my, uh, my torso as well. There was one particular nasty one that uh, I I popped and that's this one right here. You, you may remember that I told a story of how like I scraped my shin, my right shin in my like Hong Kong video. This is, uh, not, I mean not as severe as that, but it was just one massive pimple and it hurt especially because the bag straps go over it, went right over this, so it kept scraping along this. It was getting pretty serious. So uh, yeah, I popped that sucker and, but the uh, consequence of that is there's like a permanent scar. That there, my friends, is there for life. So yeah, it's mainly around here and then like my torso area. My back is full of scars as well. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a fact of life for me for as long as I can remember. So just like everyone else, these all started in the angsty teen years. Yeah, around 13 years old. Most people under normal circumstances, they're puberty and their like hormones hormone outbreaks and the and the subsequent pimples they would die out when they reach around like my age earlier even but that has not been the case for me it's just continued at the same severity as it was when like in, in as it was in my teenage years really so yeah i looked ugly you can see there's like um all these yeah, scars everywhere that's like permanent from like popping pimples and stuff. And yeah, even my doctor's like, you know, you got to get these under control. You, know, you don't you don't want these to preoccupy y your mind. The fact that I am thinking about it every once in a while when I should be think like putting my mind towards something else more productive. Yeah, it, it does have like a unknown impact on you if it's somewhere in your mind you're thinking about these. You know, when at this stage of my life, I shouldn't be anymore. But as I said, it's like a family thing. So it just makes me who I am. And so do these battle scars. And when the medication runs out and these continue, my doctor said, go see a dermatologist. Well, I get these, what well, they do like plastic surgery and just like melt the skin away and stuff. And, or like those, use those like lotions that like, you know, wipes, wipes away like the, the top layer of the skin so that new ones can form under it. I don't know, I don't know, really. Not the plastic surgery, no. Maybe the lotion thing, maybe, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my acne, everyone. Uh, I mean, oh, I, I remember like, just looking back at my old videos and just thinking, wow, I looked horrible. Like in my coronavirus video, I looked 
freaking terrible. Go back to any of my videos and you could see I was always developing pimples here, here, here and there. And every video, it was different. It was just another day, another location for these pimples, these whiteheads to develop. And it's just bad habit, popping them here and there and uh, it, it spreads the germs and it scarred the skin. And whilst this has been a fact of life for me and therefore I don't pay two minds about it, not that much anymore, other people still do and it affects their first impressions of me and uh, I, I assume it does the same for you, seeing all my pimply face. So it still looks like I'm one of those angsty puberty teens. So yeah, little backstory of my acne. COVID-19 uh, story time video over. Thanks for watching, uh, keep on procrastinating, wash your face as well as your hands, okay? Keep those bacteria away, try to avoid popping those pimples and uh, spreading that shit all over. Uh, yeah, because otherwise, this is what you get. That's the story of the day. So uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. They're playing organs now. Okie dokie. Dracula's castle, anyone? From <laughs> Castlevania?